Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mega Man is definitely a better character in this game than before. Mm -hmm. um, even talking to some of the Mega Man players, they all agree that Mega Man is definitely better than before. He may have lost a few things that he had, like in Smash 4, like the footstool shenanigans with the metal blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but, block. but overall, he just became a much better character. And uh, we're getting, we're pretty much getting demonstrated that between all these top Mega Man players going up against each other. Yeah, so Mega Man, um, and the Ditto itself, both of them have the same plan. So I think it's just going to be better who can hit each other more accurately, especially with the pellets and the Leaf Shield. Uh, Leaf Shield is another ability that got like super, it's just super good. Like how much it uh, cancels out a bunch of these lower, these lesser priority projectiles, right? The weaker yeah. ones. That's definitely true. It's just the thing, though. They both know how to deal with the leaf shield punishes mm -hmm. more so than other people. Like, there goes Scott right there. Like, he just blocked the whole thing, wait for him to land up the jumping, and then get a punch. Mm -hmm. And they went for the edge guard as well. So, I mean, dittos are kind of hard to, like, explain in a sort of way because they both have similar, they have, like, the same pl the plan. Like, some characters you can have different play styles with. Like, you can play more aggressive, more passive. But Mega Man's a character where the game plan is similar. Yeah. It doesn't matter how oh, you play. Oh, he, didn't get, his, he yeah. didn't, actually didn't get to connect his metal blade up, so that normally does work. Mm -hmm. Might have just been out of the same range for that to work. Oh. Ah, uh, that's a punish. That could have been better. Wait a but minute. unable to find it. Both of them going for these edge guards. I like how deep they're going for it, knowing how safe they are in the up smash once again from Sonic. Yeah, so Sonic Mega is uh, not always. Oh, the air dodge. Oh, oh man. It's with the spike already. I was going to say, Sonic Mega is not always at tournaments. Like, he's not really uh, super competitive as he used to be, mm -hmm. but he's still keeping it really close until like that air, air dodge off stage into free dunk. So yeah. uh, this is where things get rough. Mm -hmm. Getting the kill when you're far behind like this is Mega Man can just run away from himself really well. And uh, Scott's already showing how to play the ditto really, really effectively. Yeah, it it's, it's comes down, especially for dittos in general, it comes down to who takes the first stock first. And then Mega Man's also a very good character who can run away with this, because yeah. already the percentage is even, but the stock advantage is in Scat's hands. So it really depends who can kill. And I also noticed that Sonic, oh. going for these up smashes, it's not the best oh, And the up smash finally clips the him out. Mega Buster. He got the full charge up smash to catch the landing. Scat's so aware of how to punish this oh, yeah, character. He is. And also uh, with Mega Man, his leap shield, uh, as strong as it is, um, a lot of Mega Man plants, you'll see Scat did it earlier. He had to run away with Leaf Show because he's got a lot of end lag frames. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Never, okay. that's, that's a reversal, right? Okay, yeah. No yeah, he's, he's just saying that you can't just jump off stage for free <laughs> against me. Like, you're going for the down air just to catch the jump. But uh, Sonic Mega turned that one around, finally getting the stock. Mm -hmm. But is it a little too late? It's, it's really going to be hard to come back on Scat. He's uh -huh. so good at holding a lead. He even showed it in the other Mega Man ditto he played earlier. Mm -hmm. So with the round robin with Mega Man, it's going to continue forward. And that back air, it's so oppressive. And that fair as well. Such a good move in ultimate. It kills so much earlier. And the down, the forward throw, sorry, the down throw is oh. confirmed, but a perfect edge guard yes. from Scat. He's so good at waiting out the double jump. Mm -hmm. Even not even swinging sometimes. Like, he just puts himself in a situation where you have to expect an aerial to like, hit you out of your jump. And a lot of times, he just him just being in that area scares people into not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And Mega Man's recovery is super strong in this game because you can act out of it. You can do an air, a directional air dodge in order to get closer to the ledge. And Mega Man itself, um, he's got a lot of good edge guard, uh, edge guard moves, his bear, his bear. And of course, we saw earlier that first stock, that nice dare to punish that air dodge. Yeah. So we're seeing a color swap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who switched? OK, so yeah. uh, Sonic Mega's using the red now. Uh -huh. OK. This is my personal favorite color for Mega Man. Red? So, yeah, I like this one. I don't, I don't blues, blues classic. Uh, I'm just biased because red's like one of my favorite colors. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Commentator bias. Yeah. And a once again, I thought he was going to get spiked again. That was really close. Yeah, very, very close. You can never get uh, too easy off stage. Like, mm -hmm. this guy's always ready to punish you. Oh, uh, no tech? Oh, no drop block, though. Yeah, the lemons in this, uh, lemons are so good because a lot of Mega Man players, what they'll do is that they'll do the first two lemons and then jump with the last one in order to propel you backwards. And you probably saw on Twitter a bunch of combos you can do with these jab block setups. Yeah. But, uh, even though Sonic made a lot the first one, they're still going very even. Yeah, it's uh, really first stock determined so much. Like in the first like the last game, they were both going really evenly until Sonic Mega made a really poor mistake with the air dodge off stage. Yep, and oh. a perfectly, perfectly spaced out fair to bait out the up tilt. So he's going to be safe from that one, and it actually beats out the air oh. dodge. And great edge guard. He's still alive, but I don't think he's going to make it back. Oh, he, he saved it, yes. But he still he caught is. the roll with the up tilt. He's just so good at catching that. Man, I, I love watching these top players punishing rolls so well. Mm -hmm. 
And it dies. Ooh, parry into the no, short. Oh, he's still stop. alive. Wow. I definitely think he deserved to get that after a beautiful parry punish, but still staying alive here. It's all, right. all's, all's fair in this game. Yeah. Okay. So I can make a, oh, he didn't cover the roll. It looked like he was trying to get the and punch to the upsell. Oh, he saved no his spike, jump. but he's still pressuring him, throwing him back off the stage again. And that dare is going to hit once more. That forward smash trying to catch him out oh. the up smash as well. Yeah, he Sonic actually Mega. maneuvered around the up smash so well. Mm -hmm. He's it's starting to seem he's getting a little desperate to finish the stock. Oh, oh tried to read the roll, but go. hits him with the shore. You can. Scott finally... swinging a little bit too early there. Yeah. <laughs> he takes the stock, but what at what cost? Oh. Oh Whoa. my gosh, so good. He's so good at punishing his own character's recovery. Yeah. Spike number two, and the perfect use of the leaf shield. Use the blade to poke to poke through the shield as well, and you jump with the leaf shield in order to make it safer, as yeah. you can see right there. And the down Oh, throw. double back yeah. here. It's the raw back air, so oh. strong. He tried to go for it again? Wow, I thought he was going to go for another spike after he went directly under him. Uh -huh. So down throw fair, into it again. It's better to do bear because it does more damage, but sometimes you don't want to stall to stale it out. Yeah. So it's still an option. But Sonic, yeah, he's still got a big hill to climb in order if he wants to try to win this one. Yeah, yeah. And Scott's not slowing down at all. He's still playing so smart, so mm -hmm. safe. Because like, oh. especially when you're in advantage, you know that you don't have to play this very aggressive style because it's 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 in Sonic's hands to make that play. Because yeah. right now it's not looking too good. He's gonna go ahead and jump away with the leaf shield, but it's still punishable. There's still end like friends. Oh my goodness! Almost got the crash bomb in the down air spike. That would have been insane. Yeah, that would have been hype. But it's not gonna happen. And the bear catches that one more time. Does he get the edge guard? Oh They're my god! He's so patient with the crash bomb, <laughs> keeping him out of his recovery. Oh. Mega Buster seeing him off the stage. He jumps over the crash bomb. Uh, parries the downer. He's, he's trying to catch his yeah, roll. Yeah, he's trying to bait him to spot dodge or roll so he can up tilt him. Uh -huh. But good on Sonic in order to not fall for that bait. He tries to go for the parry once more, but that back air, not enough just yet. And the leaf shield makes sure to cover his recovery. And nice. the up smash finally catches it. But what, 148? Mega Mega range can be scary, though. It, he needs to rely on an edge guard to get the early stock right now. Anything else is not going to be enough. And especially with Scat. Like yeah. a player of his caliber is not going to let that happen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. Is it coming? Does he tech it? Untechable. It's untechable. He's too high for sin. No, he's going to take it. Great Scat. play by Scat. He, he was just on a different level. At oh, point. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still glad to see Scat do so well with Mega Man. 